Hello. Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. I try to explore different things. I try to think about what makes our pen hobby even more interesting. So I do get alerts from MassDrop. They know I like stuff to do with pens and I buy one or two things a year from them. I've actually canceled probably as many um, items that I actually ended up buying. But this one was great. I entered the mass drop. It closed a couple days later. And within a week, I got my item. So that's excellent. And I'm very impressed with it. It's from a company I hadn't heard of before. Manhattan Portage. You know, they really promote their products and they really do a lot to stand behind them. And I think that's excellent. You know, it's uh, very well documented. They make a phenomenal amount of products, a lot of colors. And of course, they're very active in social media and how you can register your product. On the package it came in, it called it a clamshell pen case. They're also very good at labeling things. And this is extremely strong zipper. Inside you have more labels. What I also found interesting was a hologram which has the number that you use to register the bag. And I did register my bag. It has a, a place for five pens, three on one side and two on the other. And I think that's an excellent idea because then when you close them they kind of don't interfere as much with each other. I mean this is a strong well-made bag and with the zipper on it it's certainly once you put the pens in there they're going to stay in there. So I think the next thing we need to do is put five pens in here and see how they fit. So I grabbed five pretty good size pens. They fit into the case, it's zippered shut. I mean it's thick and bulky. So let's take a look at the five pens. I have two oversized deltas here and this one was a tight fit on this side. It would not fit on this side obviously. But then we have a Lamy Safari, an M800 and a Noodler's Ahab. So you can see how they fit. The one design change that I would ask them to consider is have these pens reversed so you put two in this way so that way these clips wouldn't have any way of rubbing against each other interfering with it but uh, I read the reviews on Amazon so it sold on Amazon here's the Manhattan Portage website and here's the listing I think for this case but I'm not exactly sure because they don't call it clamshell here it is on Amazon five five star reviews so that's nice I probably post mine. There's no reviews posted on the Manhattan Portage website, but I'm not certain it's the same case. So I think this was a great mass drop buy. When I first saw the description of the case, I thought it would be about 40 bucks, you know, five pens and a nice well-made case and, and the threading and the sewing and the cutting of the fabric. And there's nothing I find at all not done well on this case. So that is nice. You know, it's not something you're going to fit anything else in other than pens. You know, you're not going to fit a notepad in here, but that's not what it's designed for. It's designed as a pen case, and I think it works extremely well in that regard. So if you're looking for something different, you're looking for something that holds five pens, this certainly should be on your radar. And that is, as I mentioned, one substantial zipper. I have winter down jackets that don't have zippers that nice. So hopefully you've enjoyed this quick look at a, another pen case. I haven't really reviewed pen cases. I have a lot of, of, of knock pen cases and I like them all. But this is something a little different and, and I like something a little different. And none of the knock ones I have really take five. I do have the roll-up one which takes more than that. But I'm not a fan of the roll-up one even though you know I did buy it. But it never really uh, saw use. But this one can definitely see use. So may you have a wonderful day. May you enjoy all of your pens and, and all the things that you use to keep your pens safe from harm when you're transporting them out into that world 
that may not be as pen friendly as within your own confines. So we're going to say uh, goodbye for now. Until the next video, write safely and write a lot.